Hi everyone, I'm Christy and welcome back to another video. Today's workout is a gentle stretching workout that is great to help you recover after any of my Pilates workouts or if you just went on a run, um, a bike ride, or whatever it may be. So this is a great one. It's super soothing, super gentle, and I hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. You're ready here, you're gonna come to the center of your mat standing. We're gonna start standing and slowly make our way down to the mat and end with a Shavasana, all right? Legs are gonna come out wide, toes pointing forwards and a little bit wider than the hips here. Arms can come out long to the sides and then they'll reach up to the sky and your right hand is gonna grab your left wrist. You'll pull that left hand up higher as you side bend up and over to the right. You can slightly peek underneath your left arm here for a little extra stretch to the side of the waist and pull back up, other side, right? So even in stretching, you want to focus on your alignment and your form. That way you get the most out of every stretch, even though we're holding these exercises for a little bit longer. Come all the way up, hold on to your left wrist with your right hand, pull on that left hand and side bend up and over. I want you to start to tune into your breath here as we continue to move, come all the way up, switching hands, reach, side bend. Think of this workout as gentle movement for your body to help it recover and lengthen from all of the exercise you might have already done. Lift it all the way up, arms are gonna come low, big inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, arms come by your sides, two more, inhale, and exhale, one more, last one, inhale. And exhale, hands come to hips, flat back, fold forwards here, keeping the weight over your toes. Come all the way down, hands come to the ground. When you're ready here, all you're gonna do is a little subtle shift of the hips from side to side here. And you should feel a little bit of a stretch to the insides, the upper inner thigh. Beautiful, just start to breathe. Good. Let's go for two more. And then when you're ready, settle in center. Hold it here. All you're gonna do is bend the knees, let your chest fall closer to the knees. Press through the hands, press through the feet, straighten out those legs, trying to keep those, the chest close towards your knees. You have three more. Bend and push to straighten. For two, bend and push. Hold it here and then when you're ready your hands are going to crawl over towards your right foot and then from here you're going to bend into that right knee, your left leg reaching long. Hold it here for a moment feeling a gentle stretch of the inside of the thigh. When you're ready walk it all the way over to the other side. So if you've been doing a lot of Pilates or a lot of running and other cardio activity your inner thigh tends to get really really tight here. So it's important to stretch it out move it over to the other side to help your hips move a lot. So the focus of today's stretching workout is really to open up the legs, the hips, the hamstrings, one more time to the left, as well as the chest. So those guys all get super tight through movement and even just through sitting, all right? Move it to center, hold it here again, take a deep breath, let your head fall, just take a second. When you're ready, your hands interlace at your tailbone. And then we'll stretch the chest here by deepening the belly, keeping the weight over the toes as our arms reach all the way to the sky, opening your chest, feeling your shoulder blades draw together down your back. We hold here, letting gravity pull down on your head, releasing the tension through your neck. Hold here for three. Deepen in for two. Hold here for one. Release the arms, bring them down, bend the knees. Last time, straight in those legs, and then you're going to walk your hands over towards your right foot. Pivot both toes to face the front edge of your mat here, and we have a pyramid pose. So what I'm going to have you do is walk your feet so that they're about a hips width distance apart. So make sure there's a little bit of space between your feet. If you are standing with your feet together, they wouldn't be touching. From here, lengthen your body to start growing long and tall out of the hips. And then from here, fold over the legs. We have three more like that, all right? So you should feel a big stretch in the back hamstring, the back calf and Achilles, and then a big stretch through the front hamstring. So reaching out long, lengthen that long through the head. And then fold over the legs. 
Give me one more. Last one. Reach that long. And fold over pyramid pose. Hold. Deepen in that belly. And then when you're ready here, you're going to widen the stance even a little more, bending into that right knee. You're going to take your hand to the inside of the foot, and your right foot's going to come a little wide. When you're ready, big inhale. Arm reaches to the sky. Exhale. And inhale, lower it down. Two more. And lower it down. One more. Last one. Bring it all the way down. Hold here for a moment, dropping that back knee. Untuck the toe here, stretching out that left hip. And all you're going to do here is hold, and maybe you lower down onto your forearms. Breathe here for a moment. We're going to hold here for just a little bit of an extended stretch. And then when you're ready here, you're going to come all the way up. Bring your foot on the inside of your hands again. Tuck your left toe and lift that knee up to a hover, feeling a stretch to the front of the leg. Lengthen longer through the crown of the head and arms float up to the sky. Just hold here. Deepen in the belly just for a moment. And then lower it all the way down. Two more. So we're putting a little bit of strength behind our stretch. One more. And lower down. When you're ready, come back to center, toes facing the side of your mat. Let your head fall for a moment. Reset the hips as you need to. And we're going to move over to the other side, crawling over to the left. Toes turn forwards. Shorten the stance as needed here. And we have our pyramid pose. Toes facing forwards and a hips distance apart. You're going to lengthen your body long, head reaching long to the front of the mat. And then when you're ready, fold over, feeling a deep stretch in the back of the left leg. Breathe here. Two more. So when you're stretching here, I really want you to focus on your breath. That breath is going to help you deepen into the stretch. Whenever you exhale, deepen in just a little more. Try to get those hips parallel to one another instead of shifted open. Lower down. Try to go a little deeper than you did last time. Let the muscles relax. One more time. exhale. So that you carry a lot of emotion in your hips and in your hamstrings, especially if you're a runner or you're an athlete. So this workout is designed for you guys to help lengthen it all out, right? And if you don't have the same range of motion as me, no big deal. It's totally okay, right? You're working with whatever you've got. When you're ready, you're going to widen your stance, reach your right toe back a little more. And from here, you're going to reach long, take a stretch for a moment here, and then widen your stance so that your foot comes on the outside of your left hand. We take a twist, left arm reaches high, left hand comes down, left arm reaches high. Good. One more. And bring it down. And then when you're ready here, drop your back knee. You can let your left knee come out to the side, rotating slightly as you come onto your forearms. And again, like I said, the hips carry a lot of emotion. They're tight. And they're connected to so much of your body. Your abdominals, your hips, your quads, your pelvis. They connect everything. So they tend to feel really tight if you're sitting a lot. Or if you're moving forwards and backwards a lot. For example, like running. Okay. So the secret here is just to breathe and let go and embrace the feeling of lengthening. When you're ready here, you're going to come onto those hands. You're going to take your foot back in between your hands, tuck your right toe, and lengthen that right leg long. Reach long and then reach it up to the sky. Opening up the right hip, lower it down. We have two more. Reach and lengthen. Lower down, one more. Last one, reach, lengthen, lower it down. Bring your feet back to center. Hold it here for a moment. Let the head fall. 
Good, and then when you're ready here, we're just gonna toe ball heel the feet together. And then from here, we're gonna come all the way down to the mat, all right? So let's come all the way down. Lie down on your backs here, knees bent, feet flat, arms by your sides. And when you're ready here, all you're gonna do is press through the arms, and then it's slow. We're trying to just add in a little bit of strength now that we've opened up the hips a lot. Roll your hips up and roll it down. So I keep saying that, right, strength and stretch, and you wanna pair them together. And the reason why I say that is because you can stretch safely, and stretching is functional if you pair a little bit of muscular action behind it so that you're not overdoing your range of motion, especially if you're hypermobile, right? Three more. Now, chances are you probably aren't, but maybe some of you are who are doing this, right? And if you are, you always wanna make sure all of their muscles are resisting and active while you're lengthening something else. Hold it here. So this just reminds us to kick those muscles in. Lie it all the way down. And then when you're ready, you're gonna roll to your left side so your hands are stacked on top of one another. Your right arm is the moving arm. I call this open the book. So we have a closed book now. Hips and knees stay stacked. And then when you're ready, inhale, reach long. Exhale, open. Hold it there, follow your arm with your gaze. Hold here, inhale, exhale. Inhale, reach, exhale, return. Two more, inhale, reach, exhale, open. Hold, inhale, hold, exhale, close the book. One more time, open the book, inhale. And exhale, open that chest, open the right side of the waist. Back to center. Now we add in a windmill. Right arm reaches up towards your ear. Then it reaches open. Follow your arm with your gaze. Open it wide. Knees and hips stay stacked here. Keep them anchored. Return and bring it all the way down. Two more. Open. And reach. Beautiful. And return. One more. Last one. Open. And reach, let that chest open. It should feel really, really nice, like dessert for your body. And return. Let's return to center. We'll do a set of shoulder bridges again, really pressing down through the backs of our arms. Lift your hips, lower your hips. For four, lift, lower. Make sure your ribs feel heavy. Your feet feel heavy. The backs of your arms feel heavy. Two more. Good, one more here. Let's rotate to the other side, rolling onto your right. Hands are stacked, your left arm reaches to come all the way up. And open that chest wide. Follow the arm with your gaze. Return. Inhale, open the book. Exhale, hold it open. Hold it here for one breath. Reach, pull it back in. One more time to open and close the book and then we have our windmill. And return, we windmill, follow your gaze up, open, and around, knees and hips stay stacked, return, and reach, and reach, two more. So make it your goal to keep that chest beautiful and nice and open and long, so you don't feel as much tension in your neck and at the front of your body, and return. One more, stretching your chest is a great key to helping with your posture. So the more you lengthen the front of the body, the less the back of the body is long. So when you have that little hunchback feeling at the back of your body, that's what's happening there. Return to center. We have a glute stretch here. Make a letter four with your legs and slide your hands underneath your left thigh. You're gonna press your left knee away here. And we're just gonna hold here in a static stretch. Option to take one hand to your right knee and push it away a little more for an extra stretch. I'm gonna invite you to close your eyes here if you'd like. We're gonna hold here for an extended moment. Hips and tailbone stay grounded. Two more breaths. When you're ready here, flutter the eyes open, switch your legs the other way. Left over right, hands underneath the right thigh. Pull the right knee in as you press your left thigh away, feeling a deep opening to the back and side of the left leg. 
Again, close your eyes, invitation here to do so. If not, keep the eyes open, no pressure. slowly unravel the legs. Legs can come straight out in front of you. Arms can come down by your sides. Just let your legs naturally fall as they would. And arms can relax down by your sides. Try turning your palms up to the sky here. Let the eyes close here. They weren't already closed. Take a second and let your body just melt into the mat. Feel all that length that we achieved today. Just let your body truly relax here. Just a couple minutes for yourself, right? A little break in the day, a little movement for your body. Say thank you to your body for moving with you today, for cooperating. One more breath. And then when you're ready, slowly flutter the eyes open. Slowly pull the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little hug. And then when you're ready, slowly rock yourself up to a seated position. And then you can come to face the front of the mat. Beautiful job. That was your entire stretching workout with me. I hope you enjoyed it and feel recovered, refreshed, and renewed. Again, my name is Christy. I so enjoyed working out with all of you, and I'll see you all soon.